Throughout this course, we've shown many examples of neatly organized pages to bring together all of your knowledge into one centralized team dashboard or project plan. In this lesson, we'll explore the feature that makes that all possible, database views. Database views are the cornerstone of building a notion. With them, you can visualize any knowledge stored in databases to precisely fit your needs. Change the layout, add filters, and more. Let's consider just a few examples, which you may have already seen in this course. This view, which has every meeting related to a specific doc. This project plan with related docs and meetings that functions as a one-stop shop for project knowledge. This wiki page with FAQs from the related FAQ database, or this stand-up agenda that shows all of the tasks a team is working on in a given week. This is all powered by linked views. To create one, all you need to do is type slash database and select the layout you want to start with, then select your data source, and you're off to the races. It's important to note that any changes you make to the data here, like adding a page or a property, will be reflected in the original data source. But any change you make to the view, like changing the layout or adding a filter, affects only the page you're viewing the data on. Let's dive into an example to make that a little clearer. We'll head back to our Acme workspace to create a team dashboard with docs, meetings, and projects. These are three foundational components of your organization's knowledge. To do this, let's visit the marketing homepage of the marketing team space. To start, let's create two columns to house docs and meetings. In the first, we can add the meeting notes database using slash list view and selecting meetings. From there, all we have to do is apply filters and modify our view like so. Next, let's add docs in a column next to meetings. We'll follow the same flow, typing slash list and selecting our data source as docs, adding filters, and voila. By now, you can see how we'd add projects here too. Let's add them as a timeline. And that's it. Now that you have the skills to create and customize database views, you have the power to construct your very own personalized dashboard. Try following the process you learned here to make a personal hub for notes, docs, and tasks. <laughs>